Juju Professional Gaming Formula Review. Hey what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I want to do a little review on this Juju Gaming Mix. Essentially gaming mixes are like a middle level of caffeine, some nootropics, and then some things to help with eye health because gamers are staring at their screen and that's really no different here. I was looking through the Juju selection and I found a few that didn't have artificial colors. I went to their website, they had this affiliate sign up thing. So I wrote them a thing saying, hey, if you want to send me these to review, I will review them because they don't have artificial colors and I think I would like them. So the guys at Juju sent me two different flavors. This one is the horchata flavor. The other one was the blue Raz. Now, again, I'm like pretty much allergic to artificial colors. I can't have them whatsoever. So I opened up the blue Raz and it was all blue. Like the powder was the color blue. When I looked on the side, there was no natural blue listed. And so I'm like, well, it's blue somehow. I don't know how it's getting blue. So anyways, I'm just basically going to be doing the review on the horchata. I've tried it for about two weeks now, and I got to say I really enjoyed it. Not going to lie, the second I smelled this thing, I just wanted to pour a glass right there. But it was at the end of the day, so I was like, oh, I got to wait till tomorrow. But it just smells so good. It smells like cinnamon milk. Now, I'm not really too familiar with horchata. I know it's like a Mexican drink. And the taste is really, really good too. But oh my goodness, this smell, it smells so good. So as far as the taste, I mean, it's it's really top notch. As far as pricing, I think it's about 30 servings for $35, which is pretty fair. I just looked up before and G Fuel is probably the most notorious gaming mix. And they sell 40 servings for $35, but all those G Fuels have colors in them, so I'm just really not about that life. The overall effect that I get is really smooth, enjoyable. Um, I was actually surprised to see that it contains 180 milligrams caffeine because it almost felt to me like 100, 110. Like I was definitely getting some awakening. It didn't feel bad in any way, and that could be due to the other ingredients. So it's just very smooth, very enjoyable, very balanced. And on top of that, it has some really high quality ingredients. So let's jump into them. It's got, you know, vitamin C, typical vitamin C. Um, it has vitamin D, which is nice just in case you don't have time to go outside. You're making sure to get that vitamin D. Multiple B vitamins, but the thing that stands out to me is that they use this b12 as methylcobalin now it's methylcobalin dicalcium phosphate which i've actually never looked up but if you look up b12 and actually a lot of popular companies still do this there's a version of b12 called cyanocobalin which turns literally into cyanide in the body and it's used quite a bit. You'd be surprised how often it's been put in blends, sometimes in high quality blends, but most of the time when it's really high quality like this, they will go for the methylcobalin. And I just looked on the G Fuel and they have the methylcobalin as well. So another thing that I like is that it contains Himalayan sea salt. Now, recently I've been on a really big craze of liking electrolyte mixes and there's something that I almost never want to go without. I recommend that if you ever feel like you're having a funky heart rate or just something feels very off with your body, I definitely recommend checking out electrolytes because almost nobody gets the recommended amount of electrolytes and I just feel so great on them. A lot of other people feel so great on them and having it put in here, so I'm always getting a little bit of electrolytes. So drinking this mix isn't gonna drain me really. It's gonna replenish a little bit of things. I really, really like that. And I like that they use the Himalayan pink salt as well. We got two different kinds of caffeine. That's always my favorite. I always prefer two different kinds of caffeine. Caffeine and hydrous is supposed to be the cheapest, but to me, it's the one that works right away. And then you also have this natural caffeine, which I find natural caffeine to be a little bit deeper and stronger and long lasting so you get the best of both worlds here i love two different kinds you get a low dose of alpha gpc i think that's a low dose at 150 i don't know i feel like an average dose would be about 300 but just enough and i love choline alpha gpc is a super high quality version of choline i always feel a little bit better i always like it in my energy mixes it kind of gives this balance out to caffeine to where it's it's a little bit more smooth to me it, activ it activates your brain nicely along with caffeine. 
And then you have cordyceps mushrooms here. Now, I'm a, actually a really, really big fan of cordyceps mushrooms, but they only have 100 milligrams. It is the extract, and I don't really know why they would put this in here. I'm not sure, maybe it helps with eye health. I know that cordyceps is a very athletic mushroom. Like if you're going to use some mushrooms for athletic benefits, uh, cordyceps is probably the number one. I think it boosts athletic performance. It's really good for your lungs and it might increase fertility in men or you know, increase testosterone. I'm not too sure on that. It's a very physical type mushroom and technically it's actually not a mushroom. It's a parasite, which is kind of weird. I love cordyceps. Don't really get why they put 100 milligrams in here, but I really like it nonetheless. Marigold flower extract. Now I actually could be wrong. I did not look this up. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to help with eye health, but I'll go ahead and put it on screen if it has has any other benefits. Oh, I've, I actually skipped L-theanine. Now, L-theanine is one of those supplements that I really, really enjoy. I think a very low dose alongside caffeine is literally perfect. I've seen a couple other reviewers and other people in real life talk about it being, it kind of slows you down a little bit. If you take a lot of it, you could almost take a little bit of it at night and it wouldn't feel 100% like a beer or something, but it would give you a little bit of that, ah, that relaxed, zend out kind of effect. I like how much they use in here, only 50 milligrams, which, just, which is just enough to kind of give you a little bit more smoothness without like, with a pretty much a 0% chance of slowing you down. Like 50 milligrams isn't gonna slow you down, but it might just kind of add a little bit to the blend, making it more smooth and balanced, similar to acetylcholine. Uh, alpha GPC. Okay, and then we got organic blueberry. Now I assume that is for the eye health, but if I'm wrong, I'll, I'll put it on screen. Bacopa moniara, Bacopa moni, we'll just go with Bacopa. And now Bacopa is a supplement that I've seen lots and lots of research on. I've used multiple nootropics that contain it. I've never used it on its own, but the things that people say about it is absolutely next level. It's one of the best brain boosting nootropics for sure. One of the most talked about, one of the most studied. So it's nice that it's in this blend. And then the last thing we got is black pepper fruit extract, which should just increase the bioavailability of everything in the blend. At least that's from my understanding from the research that I've done, that's what it does. So anyways, guys, I actually really enjoyed this product. I do wish it was a hair cheaper just because you only get 30 servings versus the 40 servings in the G Fuel. But I really, really like this product. Very high quality packaging, reflective. And they used a lot of high quality things in here. Like I was saying, the Himalayan pink salt. So you get a little bit of electrolytes. I absolutely love that. They used the methylcobalamin which G Fuel does too. So I gotta give G Fuel some props that they're using the methylcobalamin, but I really have almost no problems with it. The only problem I could think of is if you want like a crazy level of simulation, you're probably not gonna get it. But at the same time, no other of these gaming mixes really has like a high stim mix. Like most of the time they're in this 100, 200 milligram range. And there was even one called War Games that only had like 75. So let me know if you tried Juju Energy or Juju Gaming Mix. And let me know what other nootropics I should try. I'm interested in trying nootropics singularly, like just trying it by itself and mixes as well, kind of giving you guys a nice balance of reviews. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Juju Energy. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. So I hope you guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.